I have been adamant about this because small businesses are the backbone of our economy. They create two out of every three new jobs in this country. And while a lot of big businesses and big banks have started recovering from this recession, small businesses and community banks that loan to small businesses have been lagging behind. Well, before leaving for a vacation, President Obama again leaned on Congress to pass a small business bill. The president says the measure will help employers start hiring again, and that small businesses, of course, are the key to the economic recovery. That's something, frankly, that everybody seems to agree on on both sides of the aisle. Douglas Holtz uh, Aiken is a former CBO director and was John McCain's senior economic advisor. And, Doug, this is a case where I think everybody agrees with the problem not everybody agrees with the solution, but I can tell you this, uh, small business owners that I know in my own family tell me about how the credit lines from small banks are being decreased, they can't get these loans, and that really is stopping the growth of so many of these small businesses. Uh, th there's no question this is the key to the recovery. Uh, there, there are data that are put out each month by uh, ADP, and what they, those data show is that 87% of the jobs that have been created since the trough are in small businesses. So uh, uh, unlike the president's diagnosis of a small business uh, community that, that is in free fall, these guys are actually swimming against the tide better than anyone else. We need to give them some help. Uh, I think the best thing that is uh, available and it would be prudent to do would be to take off the table a tax increase at the end of the year uh, and make sure that these guys can uh, plan on a, a future without higher taxes. And uh, it would also be wise to have a real plan to control the spending that's causing the large deficits. Those are things yeah. that, uh, that Congress can easily do. But you know the politics of this. It's going to be tough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, can I ask you about that, though, um, yeah. particularly with the, the, the raising of taxes or the revoking of the tax cuts for the wealthiest Americans? That's obviously what the Obama administration wants to do. Their argument is, look, when you, if, if we were to extend those Bush tax cuts, it would cost about $700 billion, and you don't get a lot of stimulus for your buck. In other words, because, because rich people, wealthier people, they tend to save if they have a few extra box, bucks in their pocket. And what would the counter to that be? Well, I think they miss on two points. I mean, the, the CBO put out deficit projections yesterday that, that basically show that if you let all the tax cuts sunset, every single one, we still have $6 trillion in deficits over the next 10 years. So the problem is on the spending side. You can't tax your way out of this. And the argument that they won't spend says that they're going to save this money. If you look at the recovery from uh, recessions caused by a financial crisis, you have to get households to fix their debt and balance sheet problems. That means they have to save. So they're taxing the very solution to the problem we face. And uh, the misdiagnosis, I think, has impeded this recovery in a big way. Well, I guess this is where it seems to me that, like I said, the biggest complaint I've been hearing from small businesses is this lack of access to credit. So can you, can you make the tax argument and connect it to this issue of the, the problem with the credit markets? Uh, the small business community uh, points to the housing market as one of the hidden problems in the credit market. Small business owners often borrow with the backing of their house until we fix the housing market, which again means allowing people to rebuild enough wealth to pay off some debts, get their mortgages in order. Uh, we're not going to get the credit flowing to the very smallest businesses in the United States. I certainly don't think with this $30 billion fund that the, they're proposing is going to solve much. It's a $14 trillion economy, and that money will come with all of the stigma that the TARP had. This is just a mini TARP. People are going to run from it. It's not going to solve the credit problem. So even though it has small business tax cuts, you think Republicans are right to oppose this jobs bill that the president's been talking about? Um, I, I think there are some tax policy in there that's useful. I think the $30 billion uh, community lending fund for small business is in the end a non-starter. It simply won't work. All right, Douglas Holtek, a former director of the Congressional Budget Office and a former advisor to uh, the McCain campaign 2008. Thanks for coming on. Always Thanks. a constructive conversation. Thanks.